presents a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, a standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 HCW Elite Tournament Cruiserweight Clash live here in Sacramento, California. Coming up next, in our sixth match of the first round, Icky will go one-on-one -on -one against a newcomer in Mold. Can the rookie keep up with someone like Icky, or will the Phoenix himself be able to put away this individual? Let's find out. here obviously from the anime mob cycle 100 his signature maneuver a devastating kick called 100 percent don't know what that is yet but we'll find out this is his first elite tournament appearance bob will not have an easy match in the first round he will be going one-on-one -on -one against the phoenix himself icky one half knights of the zodiac Apparently is a uh, corporate shield for the WWE with that logo of the Titantron. Is he going to start comparing bank accounts with Bob and everybody in this tournament? It'll be an instant heal at this point in the tournament if he does that. Let's take a look at Nikki's credentials as well. Obviously the Phoenix Splash is taking to maneuver from the Saint Seiya anime. And obviously being a tag team with his partner Seiya. Making up the team Knights of the Zodiac. So Mob goes one on one against Icky in our sixth first round match. And there's the bell. The winner of this match will take on Kazuki Muto in the second round. Who defeated Beautiful Joe in the first round to earn that spot. Here we go, Collar and Tide locking between the two here. Mob able to push down Icky. I gotta be honest with you, I, I tried to talk to all of the Elite Tournament participants before this event even occurred. And with Mob, he's interested. The reason why I keep saying that word is because when I tried talking to Mob, uh, he came off awkward. A little bit on the weird side. He's a little bit of a anti-social person, I guess that's the right way to put it. Um, gave a little bit of one-word answers and nervous verbiage, if you will, but uh, something about him, his mystique or his aura, that makes me think that this guy really is talented. We'll find out as this match progresses, but Iggy so far with his chain wrestling, taking down Maul. Iggy with a nice side headlock here on the ground. Big punch onto Mob and Iggy letting Mob know that this is the elite tournament. If you want to get past the second round, if you want to get it Pass the first one, excuse me. We have to go through him. I think Mob is aware of that. A snap and reversal there by Mob as he gets down. He's able to get to his knee very quickly here. He counters into a nice set headlock. Mob now with his legs right head scissors locked up here. Both men trading reversals back and forth. Mob is able to keep up with Icky in this match. 
this time Ig gonna push Maul to the ropes here. Sends him off. Duck Sunder, Maul comes back here, leapfrog by Icky. And a nice perfect drop kick. It's now Icky from the middle. Whoa! Big body splash on to Maul by Icky, the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Maul. Over the first few moments of this matchup here, especially with this middle body cross body splash. So that five times fast. Unless it was effective, they can for a cover. Obviously, they only got a two from that attempt. It's Icky now. Sizing up Mop with a nice roller line suplex. Best in the game since Alicia Fox, I'll tell you what. He's apparently a legend. Another Raw reunion episode. Who knew? Did you figure that out? Icky with a nice uppercut. Big knife edge chop. Another uppercut onto Mob. And Mob so far. Oh, wait a minute. Mob grabbed the leg there and stopped Icky's offense. Front headlock here. And Mob is going to target that leg. That's probably the wise decision to do right now. To slow down Icky's speed. Nice vertical suplex sends down the Phoenix. Goes for the quick attempt at a pin here. One. Kick out by Icky. Kick to the back and Icky did not like that whatsoever. Mob with a nice dragon screw sends Icky back down on the mat. Remember the winner of this match, the winner of this tournament. Not only gets to call themselves the 2019 King of Elite, they will get an automatic Cruiserweight title shot at any time, anywhere within the upcoming new season of Anime Championship Wrestling on the Impulse brand, obviously, as the current Cruiserweight Champion is Aaron Yeager. As Mob now with these hard strikes, oh, what a knee! Sends down Icky crashing! And it's starting to get intense here. Oh, boy. German suplex! Dropping Icky on his head! Mob taking joy in that, whatever he calls joy. Went for a kick, he blocked it. Oh, Mob with the kick to the back of Icky's head. He could have concussed that man something fierce. Now what's this? Wait, Mob from the ground up, German suplex. Oh, and Icky lucky to have the ropes nearby for a break. But Mob is starting to show his intention. I can see why. Something about his aura is the reason why Mob is able to keep up with someone like Icky. Icky barely having the ropes to get up in here, but... Mob from the top turnbuckle. Oh, no, Mob kicks Icky back here. Mob from the top. Spinning wheel kick! Completed. In the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. Shoulders are down. There's one. There's two. And Icky kicks out before three. Mob doing a great job so far keeping Icky grounded. Let's take a look at this impressive Deadlift German suplex. But Icky was nearby the ropes to grab a rope break there. But wasn't so lucky here with a spinning wheel kick from Mob from the top turnbuckle. So we're back live here. Mob now gonna take advantage here. Icky responds back with an Inzaguri. Icky trying to advance in the second round after Say was unable to do so earlier in the tournament against Izuki Midoriya, aka Deku. Deku will advance and take on Akira Kurusu in the second round. And Icky was, and Icky's gonna try to correct that mistake from Seiya as Mo was trying to go for what looked like a knee strike again. Schoolboy super kick! And down goes Mo! The cover! One! Two! And a shoulder up by Mo! Barely before three! But impressive offensive maneuvers there by Icky with that schoolboy super kick. Keeping Mob grounded. Now Icky from the top rope. What is he planning to do here? And a, oh my god, a corkscrew 450. Nobody home. Mob with the knees onto the abdomen of Icky. There's another knee strike. That down goes Icky. Holy hell, this match is getting good. Whew. That's why I love, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this, what is this? Wait a minute, are we gonna see it? Bang! 100%! The 100% kick! One, 
two, third, oh my god, only a two. That devastating kick could have put Iggy away to 100. Let's take a look at this again. Brooks Group 450 attempt was stopped by Marvin and look at this to perfection. The precise kick of that 100% and that surprisingly got a two as we're back live and Mob is looking to end this for good. He went for it again. And this time Iggy drags and screws him back down to the mat. This is what I love about our Cruiserweight division here at ACW. All these unique, distinctive styles all clash into one tournament here, like the Elite Tournament. And now Icky going up top. This may not be good. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is. Phoenix Splash! Cover! One! Two! No! No! Shoulder up by Mom! Oh my God, what is it going to take between these two here? What is it gonna take? How much gas do they have left in their tank? I was dizzy, he can barely stand on his own two feet. And now Icky planning something here, he can't waste any more time. Icky hangs on to the outside. Icky shoulder thrust to the outside. Sunset flip, shoulders are down. Referee's gotta get down there, cover one, two, and Mum kicks out before three. More kicks to the leg of Mob. Oh boy, Mob got that leg though. And wait a minute. Oh! Exploder suplex! On to Iggy by Mob. And Mob going back to the edge. Wait a minute! Kick to the torso! Oh my god! What a match! Mob is really showcasing his skills and perseverance here tonight. Back trip there by Mob onto Iggy. Iggy showing a great performance of his own, not to take anything away from Iggy himself. But now Mob is on top. What does he have in store for the Phoenix? Oh, I guess a standard elbow from the top. All right then. I guess that worked. Now Iggy whips hard to the corner there, back first. Now Mob will continue to slow down Icky's agility and speed. Working on the back as Mob! Oh! Went for the 100% kick once again. Icky caught it. He felt it. He does not want to be at the receiving end of that 100% once again. Back in out there onto Icky. Mob took advantage there. Elbow by Mob. Icky to the back of the ropes here. Icky, Irish with Mob. Mob hanging onto the outside. Icky rushing towards Mob with a kick across the face here. Mob climbs to the turnbuckle here. Iggy fall in pursuit. Sends him down to a seated position. Iggy gonna fall suit here. Dragon starter from the top! Oh my goodness, I am losing my breath here. This is the Cruiserweight division. This is what being elite is truly all about. Iggy now, multiple clotheslines, sending Mob down. Nice drop kick. Will Icky now look to capitalize and put Mob away? He's gonna have to. Big forearm. Kick to the midsection. Oh, kick to that injured leg once again by Mob. Another knee strike to Icky. Oh, missed that kick. Missed that knee by Icky. Two misses in a row, and Nicky will capitalize on Mob's rookie mistakes. Mob's into the corner here, knife edge chopped by the Phoenix. Get to the leg. Both men just showing intensity back and forth with their moose set and strikes. And Nicky with an eye rake there. Bit unconventional for Nicky, but this is the elite tournament, damn it. Leapfrog by Nicky onto Mob. Drop kick to Frenchman by the Phoenix. It looks like, it looks like Iggy's gonna set up maybe for a Phoenix Splash one more time. If he gets one more, it's over. Oh, and Mob wisely probably sent it, sensed it, excuse me, and got to his feet quickly. But Iggy's still up top here. Drop kick, nobody home. And now Mob's setting up something for Iggy as Iggy's slow to his feet. Elbow to the face. 
Iggy back with his elbow. They just keep going back and forth. Something's got to give here. Another schoolboy sign kick. Or super kick, excuse me. Iggy going up top. He's going to go for it again. Phoenix Flash. Mom, knees up. Onto the abdomen of Iggy. Bang. 100% kick for the second time in a row. There's the cover. There's two. Mom has put away Iggy in the first round. Oh my goodness, what an excellent cruiserweight match. Iggy went from one too many Phoenix Flashes, it cost him, and without preparing for it, a second 100% kick by Mom onto Iggy. Iggy, just like his partner Sam, goes down in the first round. Mom has advanced to the second round, and with that, we now have our second, second round match for the Elite Tournament, as Mom will go one-on-one -on -one against Kazuki Muto. If I'm Kazuki, I'm looking at Mob and not underestimating him whatsoever. The quirky weirdness of Mob propels him to the second round of the tournament. Could he be the sleeper of the Cruiserweight Clash? That remains to be seen. But we shall see you for the next time at the Elite Tournament. Good night, everybody.